I'm Jennifer. I'm about to show you how to configure your handset to disconnect from dynamic talk groups and reflectors. As an example I have selected the AMD 380 CPS. It is likely that you already have a selection of talk groups in your contacts list. However to make this operation work correctly you need to have installed contact 4000 as a group call as well as a private call. With the frequencies programmed and the talk groups added, we now have a zone of talk groups that we can use with the repeater F5ZLW. Some of these talk groups will be fixed or static at the repeater and some of them will be dynamic. We will see that shortly. We now select button definitions in the sidebar of the CPS to open the menu. We are going to configure side button 1 for RTG 4000 operation, so we select one touch access 1 from the drop box. While we are in this menu, we can configure side button 2 for manual dial for private calls. Side button 2 is below the PTT and side button 1 is above. Both buttons are programmed for short press in this configuration. Now we configure one touch access one for digital mode from the drop box. Now from the drop box, we select our previously configured group call 4000, which we named TG4000. Now we select the call type as call. That done, we can now write the code plug to the radio. We will naturally be prompted to save the code plug to the computer. Here is the admin dashboard of F5ZLW, displaying a number of fixed talk groups. As you watch closely there will be a transmission on TG2086, a dynamic talk group. The data from the transmission is passed to the Brandmeister server registry, which responds to the repeater that the call is valid and has context. The repeater now displays this as a dynamic talk group. Having concluded our connection on this talk group, we now wish to disconnect, so we short press button 1 and follow it with a brief press on the PDT. The server registry acknowledges the disconnect and responds by voice. Having received the acknowledgement from the registry, the repeater also closes the session by removing TG2086 from the dynamic talk group box. Now we change channel to a talk group that is fixed on the repeater TG20823 and make a brief transmission. Again the server registry acknowledges a valid call and gives context and the repeater displays TG20823 now in the dynamic talk group box. Having completed our connection on TG20823, we wish to disconnect. Again, we make a short press on top button 1 followed by a brief press on the PDT. Not linked. Again, the server registry acknowledges the disconnect by voice. The repeater confirms the disconnect and ends the session by removing the talk group from the dynamic list, but it remains available as a fixed group. This button function is also available on talk groups programmed on slot 1 of the repeater. However, there is no voice acknowledgement, but the disconnect occurs as it would on slot 2. Thanks for watching. I hope this video has been informative. 73 from Jennifer.